Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Age 2. Last we left off, we were helping Meryl get settled into her new home. But, we have so much more to cover here. Ah, uh, let's see, where should we go? Well, we haven't been yet to Le, Le High Town in a while. And there are at least a few things up that way that we have to take care of. Alrighty. Oh, for example... Is brooding a sport in Tevinter? Hmm? Do they hold competitions, hand out trophies for the best scowls? I'm not brooding. You're not. Moping, then. You seem like you're a champion at it. I'm perfectly content at the moment. Really? Oh, so that's you smiling. <laughs> Glad you clarified that. I'd never have known. <laughs> oh, Mr. Broody. Anyway, worthy. Ah, oh, long time no see, my friend. Worthy, when did you get back into town? Oh, uh, just a month or so ago. Things didn't work out in Orzammar. You aren't still working for a Thenril, are you? Your year must be up by now. I do like this sarcastic Hawk's response to him, which is, Worthy, the dwarf with the incredibly ironic name. Also, you may hear some background noise. Unfortunately, that is inevitable. Thanks to my upstairs neighbors. Anyway. Well, anyway, I'm funding an expedition. I'm looking to become an explorer of a sort. I heard. Bartrand's hard to take, but his information is usually good. Hard to take? <laughs> That's putting it mildly. <laughs> I'll tell you what. I still have my old contacts. You need some rune crafting done, I can arrange it for you. Take care, Hawk. Don't get dead. I'll do what I can. And this is how you set up the rune crafting portion of your home, wherever your home is. And he's looking for his own specific ingredients, lyrium silverite and or or a chalcum. Or chalcum? I have no idea how that's pronounced. Um and I'm going to get back to Hubert. But there are a few ah, yes, help wanted. My dear wife Ninette has gone missing. That opens up this quest over here. I offer a bounty for the return of my wife. Hey, France. That doesn't sound good. What do you mean you can't help me? This is a domestic matter, Sirrah. If your wife has chosen to leave you, there's nothing we can do. Ninette is my wife. She's legally bound to me. Bring her back. Oh. We're done here. That doesn't sound pleasant. Useless. Why are we still paying those slugouts? Because they're not here to be your personal guard. But anyway, is there something I can do? Your wife is missing. I can try to find her if you like. Yes. Oh, I have been waiting for someone to say that. Really? That foolish woman has caused me nothing but embarrassment. She needs to be dragged home. I can't imagine why she might run away. Nor can I. <sighs> Yes, yes, my wife and I don't get along. But that's not the important thing. It's not? Her family is getting suspicious. They think I might have done something to her. Even if... Well, I just want to make sure they know I didn't do it. So that's your... That's what's more important. Not the fact that she might be hurt. But, okay, her family is suspicious? Why would her family think you did something to her? They think I married her for her inheritance, and they know we have been fighting. They believe this is reason enough for me to hurt her, but I swear on Andraste's pyre, I have done nothing. Is... If there's anyone in my audience who can tell me if that's actually an accurate French accent, please let me know, because I don't think so. Something sounds off about it. Anyway, is Nanette in danger? Do you think Nanette might be in trouble? It's her own doing. Gallivanting about with men half her age. Oh, it's her fault. Oh, she's just trying to show me I am tied to her purse strings. It's her fault that she might have been kid. I would have thought that it would have been a kidnapper's fault that she got kidnapped. Don't you want her back? You're more concerned what her family thinks than what happened to her. Yeah. Nanette keeps the company of other men. Huh? And makes no secret of it. 
Oh, okay. I'd be better off with her gone. <sighs> well, as long as her family knows I had nothing to do with it, they would ruin me otherwise. You're a terrible husband. You don't care that Ninette might be hurt or dead. You sicken me. Agreed. You have never lived with her. And apparently you should never have. It wasn't always like this. We were in love. She defied her parents to marry me. Sometimes, I wonder if I dreamed those years. <sighs> when did you last see her? How long has your wife been gone? About a month. A month? I wasn't worried at first. She's run off before. Ninette is uncontrollable, you see. She comes and goes as she pleases. <sighs> sure, I can help. I'll try my best to find Ninette and bring her home. You should talk to Jethan at the Blooming Rose. I didn't know she visited whores until Jethan sent a letter to our house. He even sent her flowers once. Lily's hmm, her favorite. Huh. Ah, talking about it makes my head hurt. Good luck to you, Sarah. So, because someone else cared enough to actually send her her favorite flower... Yes, let's be sure to demean the whores. You won't find better... Ah. The Unbidden Rescue... And I may as well get rid of some of this stuff cluttering up my inventory. Freedom's Call. Anders Default's Staff. Um, I don't need a heavy oven boots. And I'm pretty sure I'm not going to need any of these. Because... Because... And... Sell all junk. Yay! Okay. Um, definitely you want to check out the merchants in t any town, actually. Um... Because they're going to carry some stuff that you actually can't find otherwise. Alright, so... I've got a few other quests I've got to take care of. Going into the Chantry area. Hmm. Sebastian! Oh. Stop this madness. The Chantry cannot condone revenge, Sebastian. It is my right. My duty to show these assassins there is nowhere in the free marches to hide. Hello, Axe. This is murder. No. What happened to my family was murder. Hello, Mr. Shiny Armor. Pretty damn good shot at that. Have you seen him? Karen, was it? No. There are many Templars in Kirkwall, woman. Woman? You're a dick. I'll deal with that in a second. Chanter's board. Duty. Prince Sebastian Vale? Hmm, he's asking for help in taking care of some of the assassins. Anyway. Masha. Please, can you help me? My brother. Your brother gave you that horrible makeover? Yes, I can help you. Oh. Wait, never mind. Tell me what's wrong. What happened to your brother? Karen was always so devout. So idealistic. He was so what, proud what is when your the problem? Templars accepted him. I pleaded with him not to join the Order. But he wouldn't listen. You hear dark rumors about the Templars. And Knight Commander Meredith. And now my brother is gone. <sighs> Tell me about Meredith. What do people say about Knight Commander Meredith? Oh, she has many admirers. They lord at the service she does in keeping the mages in check. But others say she is terribly fierce and utterly without pity. But she sees demons everywhere. It is dangerous even to whisper such things. Is it? That doesn't sound like a conducive environment. Well, what rumors are you hearing? What have you heard about the Templars? People harboring escaped mages just disappear. Templars interrogate and threaten passers-by. My friend, 
has a cousin who's a mage, and she says he was made tranquil against his will. You hear more with every passing day. That really doesn't sound right. Tell me what happened. I'm here to help you. Just tell me what you know. Karen would write me every day. Then suddenly, no more letters. I wrote him many times with no response. I tried to see him, but Knight Commander Meredith threw me out. They won't tell me anything. <laughs> What's in it for me gets you more money, supposedly. But how can I help? Your brother may indeed be in trouble. What can I do for you? Perchance. In your journeys, if you find yourself in the gallows, ask the other recruits, Wilmot and Hugh, about my brother. They were Karen's closest friends in the Order. If anyone knows where he is, it's them. Make her bless you and watch after you in this endeavor. Very sweet gal. Oh, poor thing. Alrighty. Oh, and there's a crate over here. Yes, tragic news about a potential disappearance of someone's brother, but, um, yeah, the important thing is the shiny. And what are these robes? Ah, these are the pretty robes. I do like them, too, but I remain fond of these. And, of course, I get better, um, talents for them. <laughs> ah, Magistrate Venard. You there, Ferelden. I wish to speak with you. Okay. I've heard you have dealings with certain elements in the city. You can get things done on the sly, as they say. <laughs> on the sly? What is it you need? Is there something I can help with? I am a magistrate in this city, and as such, I wish to hire you for a small, albeit important job. A man I sentenced to a life in prison has escaped custody. He's been tracked to an abandoned ruin outside the city. I'd like you to retrieve the fugitive and hand him over to the guard. What was this man's crime? Why is there such a clamor to catch this man? What has he done? He's escaped. That's reason enough to catch him. But that doesn't clarify why we need... I mean... That's all? Is there anything else I need to know? There is something, yes. There are creatures in the ruins. The guards I sent are ill-equipped to deal with such beasts. Oh, well, that makes this so much better. What kind of creatures? Do you know what manner of beasts they are? I don't know what they look like. I've never seen one myself. The guards say these things have already torn through a full company of men. This gets better by the second. Why not just let him be eaten? It would be easier to seal up the entrance and let the beasts take care of him. I believe in justice, Ferelden. Not unbridled slaughter. Agreed. I will not let prisoners be eaten just because I don't want to get my hands dirty. But you still don't want to get your hands dirty, but that, never mind. So why not send more guards? I'm sure if you send in enough men this time, they'd do fine. No. The more guards you know, the easier it is for this to get out. Those men gossip like old fishwives. Well, as long as it's completely secret and under the table and not being taken in any regard uh, as a legitimate cause, you mean something that you can't take to the guard. All right, I'll do it. I'll take the job. Bring the fugitive in alive, quickly and quietly. Not only will you be well paid, you'll have the gratitude of a city magistrate. Useful for a refugee, wouldn't you agree? Interesting that you've heard so much of me already. Oh, so much. So much that needs to Good be done. You. And... Yeah, okay. Where else? I see a little... thing down that way. Ah, yes. There are certain things that I have to turn in. There's also a shiny barrel over here. Not that I need what's in it. And there's a Fenril. Ah, and yes, she has something for us as well. Huh. Well, I just lost a sovereign. Didn't think you'd stoop to our kind again. Or are you not too proud to make some coin? And what's the job? No promises. But I'll hear what you have to say. Since you stormed off, we don't have anyone who can quite work your magic. 
if you know what I mean. <laughs> Literally. I sent some men to fence a bit of cargo down at the docks. I haven't seen them since. I pay good silver for the safe return of them or the goods. Well, what's going on? Who's missing? Is this anyone I know? When you left, we had to take on new Ferelden volunteers. Lad named Price was leading them. No one of your caliber. Well, where do I go for this? Where were they last seen? They were supposed to meet down by the docks, under cover of darkness. I know you're familiar with the concept. And what kind of goods are we talking about here? Want to tell me what you were selling? We were trying to make a deal with the Carta. Those Orzammar dwarves. They like luxury items. Fine fabrics, a cask of caviar, an aged wine. Anything one can liberate from a high town merchant. Oh, this sounds really good. All right, well, I'll do it. For old times. Consider it a deal. Good. Go to the docks tonight. My boy Price was supposed to meet our buyers from the Carta there. Maybe you can find out what happened. So, yeah, this is part of how you oh, gather up. What is that stench? Your perfume. Anyway, how you're supposed to be able to get garner up enough money, although technically I almost have enough. <laughs> Um, garner up enough money for the expedition is by doing all these little side quests. Well, let's not delay. Let's go take care of Lucan's fourth general, shall we? Show up at the docks. Oh yeah, I think we've got. Oh dear. Price. Alright. Thank you for jumping right into where my fireball was going. Oh dear. There are these guys. Some more coming out over this way, is there? <laughs> Setting people on fire. Um, yeah, I think we're going to do this. Thank you. I thought them coachery men had me for sure. I guess the whole thing was a trap. There were no dwarves when I went to make the trade. Just coterie waiting to kill us. Huh. They got the rest of the boys. I ran. I was hoping they wouldn't find me here. But they did. And this is a stupid question, but... <laughs> what's a coterie? Is that a Thenrail's rival criminal guild or something? More like she's their rival. A small one at that. What I hear is the coterie controls most crime in Kirkwall. And they don't like competition. And just how old are you? You're a bit young to be doing this. I'm 15. But I can usually pass for a man. My mama was ripped in two by one of them big horned darkspawn. It's just me and my sisters now. Oh. Working for a Thenril's the only way to feed the girls. Gee, that situation sounds awfully familiar. Keep the goods and start over. Why not take what a Thenril gave you and start fresh somewhere outside of Kirkwall? What do you mean? There's always work to be found on farms for a healthy young man. My father was a farmer. Before the Darkspawn got him. I'd rather do that than work for a Thenril. Then sounds like you've got your plan laid out for you. I... I'll get my sisters. Please, make sure she doesn't come after us. Certainly. We're not in battle. But we have plenty of things to loot. And then sell, apparently. And before we go any further, 
I am out of time for this installment of Let's Play Dragon Age 2. I hope to see you next time where we probably continue trying to help Prince Sebastian Vale with his issue with the Assassin's Group and other odd and, odds and ends around Kirkwall. Hope to see you then.